right o tight, there's no point in mucking about. Oh man. Oh well. I don't have an intro. Uh guys. <laughs> I just listen to this. Yep, we took our time. Uh Hi YouTube. Uh well that's not the intro. Good evening YouTube. Welcome back to some call me cam today. Oh, today we are playing one of my favorite games on the PS2. This is my first time actually experiencing the first game because my cousins gave me the second game to play on PS2 because they didn't really play it at all. So they gave it to me along with two other games. I believe those other two games were Open Season and... Bolt, if I'm correct. I think the other two games were Open Season, Bolt, and Tie to or Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2, Bush Rescue. And Tie 2 easily became one of my most played PS2 games. It was so addicting, so fun. I got so many hours out of it. It wasn't even funny. I I, I could not have thanked them enough for giving me that game. And now, Chrome Studios two years ago in 2020 remastered it in HD added a ton of new boomerangs I don't know how much new contents in this but oh my gosh Chrome Studios and shout out to them again Chrome Studios because they had this on the PS store for 50% off both 1 and 2 so shout outs to them man like for real Chrome Studios, y'all know what y'all are doing. Y'all know how to make a really fun game. So, my first tie the tie the Tasmanian Tiger one. My first experience. Uh, I'm gonna shut up during the cutscene, let it play through. I'm just so excited for this. Y'all have no idea. Okay, the soundtrack's still bopping. I remember this from the uh, the I opening. I gotcha. Okay, Ty, I'm in. Catch me if you can. Um. Hmm. Don't move, mate. I'll get help. Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. G'day, mate. It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Oh, 
Oh wow, that's petty. <laughs> no! Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Boy, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. Right. Sounds like you've got a fair dinkum adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the, the footy, and I'll help you out where I can. Does that mean soccer? I feel like that means soccer. I don't know. Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're gonna be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> I don't Head have two already. To Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. Okay, off the bat, this is very different from the PS2 game because in the PS2 game, or not the PS, they were both on the PS2. I mean, I mean to say in the second game. Okay, Ty still has them hops, like he does in the second game. Um, well. It's cool that you can actually, like, look at this and, like, get on top of it and stuff. Um, so, funny thing, in the second game, uh, they just straight up, like, in the opening cinematic, they, like, kind of give you the context of the story of, uh, like, Ty standing up to Cass and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, they spliced it in a way that's, like, really cool. And they make it look so B.A. it's not even funny. Okay, wow. Um... So... G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute okay. these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness graces me. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I was just making some last-minute adjustments. <sighs> Oh, well, well, well. man. You must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot. <laughs> What's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talisman. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. Okay. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talisman. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Mari. <laughs> that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. Oh. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. What are thunder eggs? Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, so buy a lot of batteries. How is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? <laughs> hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. 
I'm not trashing this game. I'm just, I'm just making, I'm just making jokes. I love this. Uh, I love this game. Well, I love the second one. I haven't played this one, so I don't know if I'll love it yet. I, I, I feel like I will. Like, it, it, I feel like it's a given that I'll love this one since I love the second one so much. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. What do they say about me? Ty, there's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. Okay. I'll see you in two up. What in the... Two up? What'd you just call me? Whatever. Okay, so... Yes, mm -hmm. yes, Thunder Eggs power this talisman machine. Make sure you visit all the portals. Okay. So, do you want to tell me how you open these portals? Can you tell me that? This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. <laughs> I can see the little, I can see the charm and humor is still in this game. Uh, as much as it is in the second one. Listen mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Hey, we have a viewer. Right, mate, welcome. That wasn't meant to be easy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm glad someone is here to uh, view this. Uh, this was one of my favorite games of all time as a child, and uh, Chrome Studios remastered it. So yeah, uh, I'm reliving a very fun part of my childhood. Sorry about the background noise. So, oh wow, I just jumped off that. Okay. I reckon those dummies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny, which was the best place to be given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's Is Dunny like the Australian term for outhouse? Conundrum. But if you ask or me, bathroom in I general. It's a load of bull dust. <laughs> so you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of those. A load of what now? Something like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. So what can I use? I wonder what I can use these opals on. Ruth Ty, you've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? It's choppers. Bite button. <laughs> Never yeah. Mind, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates. Okay, you can still kind of chain your bites together, so that's cool. Speaking to a bloke down the local water hole, and he reckons you can use your rings to take care of enemies and smash things. Shoe ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. Okay. I can also bite them, so that's cool. Well, I mean, you could do that in the second game, so, you know. 
Yeah, I felt like that would be a given. I'm not expecting everything in the second that was in the second game to be in this one. Not more cage. Okay. What happened here? Okay, I guess finding these little joeys are still part of the game. Or bilbies, my bad. Well, big mistake. No one misses with my mates. Now there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries, unless your boss Cass. What have you got to say now? Youngers, have it easy these days. If you want to get a better look at your surroundings, just wiggle your camera stick. And you can adjust the camera distance by pressing the camera distance button. In my day, we had to get off our backsides if we wanted to see the world. Duh. Wait, so... I like the camera kind of zoomed out, so I think I'm gonna have it like that. It's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> right, eh? Wait. So does that mean opals in this game are... Because in the second game, uh, opals are used as currency to buy new boomerangs. So now I'm wondering, like, how do I get new boomerangs? Because if that's what opals are used for in this game, unless there's more than a hundred in each area, um, I don't know how they're supposed to work. I already know how these work. Or, I guess, 300 of them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you want to break the box, please? Thank you. Come on, Ty. You're better than that. Okay. So kangaroo guys, bite them, frills, rang them. Got them. Rang and fang, baby. Rang and fang. Uh, I'm assuming Julius will so at some point tell me what those are for. Okay, there we go. Just might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden cog just might be the golden. Might what now? Invention. The cogulaceous <laughs> boom. <laughs> that was a stupid joke. Right. What's that? Why? It's a machine that creates experimental techno rings. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. So instead of a boomerang shop like in the second game, um, I have to collect these golden cogs. Um, okay. That's a very interesting difference, actually. Another one. Can I make this jump without another boomerang? 
Nope. I figured there was something back there. What's here? What the? I can't swim? Are you kidding me? Can I not do that without a second boomerang? Just told me to tell you this, but I have no idea what it means. Apparently, according to Julius, you can lock your camera on to enemies at any time by pressing and holding the lock on button. Can I? Oh, oh. Okay, it's nothing like it was in the second game. Okay, hold on a second. Because, okay, it is kind of like how it is in the second game, but one of the big differences being Ty will always face the opponent. That's one major difference. Ty always faces the enemy whenever you hit lock on. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a throw off. But I can get used to it. I'm sure I can get used to it. It it'll take a second, but I I'm sure I can get used to it. It's not an end-all, be-all thing, so it'll be fine. Oh. So I need 15 of these. I've got five, so that's 10 more. Huh, jeez. Okay, so this is like a way, like, more collect-a-thon, linear-esque type thing. Get out of my face. The master rang. <laughs> I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. Well, there's no time to sit around and feel actually found yourself. You're gonna have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was gonna give you, but a bunch of frills stole it. You'll have to take them all on to get it back. Okay. So, take out a bunch of frills. Trophy earned. Two rings are better than one. Good to know, man. Ah, I can't kill them. What? Wait. Can Ty, can Ty just straight up not swim in this game? I guess not. Huh. Well, in the second game, there was, like, a, a bunch of, like, water-related stuff. Well, n not a bunch of water-related stuff, but there were some, uh, water levels in the game. And, uh, like, you had to, like, swim in a few different places. I don't know. Because I thought as soon as I, like... I thought as soon as I got the second boomerang, I'd be able to swim. Well, Wait. it looks like today wasn't a complete waste of time. Interesting. <laughs> you seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, it's a right. <laughs> uh, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine I want a sandwich. Who knows, a who knows a mate, who knows another mate, says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. How? 
It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start gliding. Right. Is that safe? Safe as houses, mate. See if uh, depends on the kind of house. What's it made of? What, who is the manufacturer? Who constructed it? What company was it? What's their serial number? So, so I need 15, 14 more, but I feel like they're underwater and I can't swim yet. So I don't know what to do about that. I don't think I can jump up there. I might have to just play this level backwards. Hold on. Wow, 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 wow. Why did you need to ledge grab there? Just get up. Julius is just chilling down here. Haven't I told you already? Find 15 golden cogs and bring them to my Okay, well you ain't got nothing to say. Excuse me. I feel like there has to be something back here. Something that I'm missing. Okay, so I'm just, I'm back at the start now. Interesting. Okay, so we got that one. It's a good thing I did backtrack then, because there might be a bunch of more cogs that I missed. Sorry, that was a good steak sandwich I had for lunch. Alright, can I make the jump? Oh, yes I can! No, 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 no. Okay, well, since I didn't immediately drown, I'm assuming that at some point I can learn to swim. It's just a matter of when. So 
so I'm missing five opals. Okay, four opals. I'm missing four opals. Wait a second. I just realized something. Okay, that's not what I realized, but I did want to see what this was. That's cool. Whatever. Uh, hold on. Options. Controls. DualShock 4 wireless controller. Motion sensors. Dude, I'm using freaking motion controls. Huh. That wasn't a half bad effort, Ty. I reckon with a little more practice, you'll get there. I'll get where? How many thunder eggs does that make? Okay, that didn't get me a thunder egg. See, there's a golden cog under there, so that implies that there's gotta be, at some point, I get to learn how to swim. Like, I don't feel like they would just put that there for no reason. Because Chrome Studios is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to spend uh, a lot of this playthrough probably praising Chrome Studios. But you know what? They deserve it for the hard work they put into this game. Especially for remastering it. And I think that's all 300. Let's go. What's this? Oh, what the, what the? What is this? What was that? I'll tell you what it's not, it's not in the second game. Whatever. Where's the Thunder Egg machine? Oh, wait. Let me up there, please. What? Now I'm going the wrong way.
Oh, I can just walk up this. Alright, that's 300. So now what happens to him? Huh. Cool. Excuse me. Time to move out. We got four more talismans to fight. You there, fetch my bags. <laughs> Soon unimaginable power will be mine. 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 <laughs> hmm. Well, how about that? Look at that, he leaves little paw prints. That's cool. Yes, mm hmm yes. Yeah, 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 shut up, Julius. <laughs> okay, I can go in here finally. Uh, walk in the park. Or... Shipwrecks. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna do this one. Because it's closer. <laughs> well, it wasn't at first. Is that a platypus? Wait, yeah, it is. That's Welcome Rex. Welcome to the Great <laughs> Barrier Reef. Full of beautiful fish, friendly natives, and inviting sandy beaches. It's a beaut spot for a swim, if you know how. Okay, so that means I'm gonna learn how to swim. Awesome. That makes things so much better, honestly. And the soundtrack is still banging. As it always has been. Ha! <laughs> I don't think there were bouncy chairs in the original. These little boingy chairs. Boing. <laughs> I love the sound effect they make. Can I do it with the umbrella? What? How are you gonna make the chairs bounceable and not the umbrella? You would think that would be the thing you would make even more bouncy. Ah! Oh, let me out. What are those? Are those boomerangs? How do I get them? Ty, mate, good to see you again. Kid, hey, Rex. You saved anyone today? Funny you should say that. Elle went for a bit of a swim out near Danger Spike. Danger Spike? Where's that, Rex? <laughs> it's a nice little spot, not too far from Shark Reef. Yeah, and? Well, anyway, she's an excellent swimmer, but she hasn't come home yet. I'm starting to get a bit worried. Strafe? I'm on lifeguard duty, so could you have a look for me? Well, I would, mate, but... Oh, I, I can't swim. Tell you what, I'll teach you. Follow me. When you're in water, press the bike button to dive. Then tap the jump button to start swimming. Okay. Wish me luck. By the way, those boomerangs of yours won't work underwater. But I got a prezi for you that'll fix that. These are aquarangs. I found them in an old shipwreck years ago. They cut through water like a hot knife through butter. If you can dive under the water and grab them, well, then they're all yours. No more dog paddle. Yeah. Crabs. Crabs. The aquarangs work like regular boomerangs, but you can only use them underwater. Oh, and one other thing. 
You're not a fish, mate, so keep an eye on your air supply. Yeah, thanks, Rex. If I remember correctly, the air supply is actually pretty long, so I shouldn't really have to worry much about that. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I wonder if I can swim as fast as I could in the old game, in, uh, tie 2. I wouldn't say as fast, but still pretty fast. With a bit of practice, you'll be a champion swimmer just like me. Yeah, beauty. This is my good mate. She'll show you the way to danger, Spike. Good luck, mate. What's her name? Hey, Ty. You can swim faster by tapping the jump button to gain speed. <laughs> Let's go find Elle. Wait, why do you need me for this? If she's a sea creature... <laughs> Can't you just, like, have her swim out to Danger Spike and see if she's up there? I'm just kidding. Obviously that wouldn't work because she can't go on land. Yeah, shut up! I'm, I'm exploring. Excuse you, sir. Careful, Ty. His ears look pretty nasty. Oh, yeah. I rem I forgot these cages also are air supplies. You stupid shark. Can I can I kill these sharks? No, I cannot.
guys, so... I'm just seeing if there's any opals laying around here. Ah, but there's a Bilby. And there's one of uh, Julius's uh, golden cogs and one of the uh, opal machines. Awesome. At least I know where they are now, so that's really good. Excuse me. Whew. What's this? Why's my Oh, I forgot my camera stuck. Wait, why is my camera stuck? I guess it's like fixed whenever you're on this whenever you're on the Spiral Mountain. I'm going to call it Spiral Mountain, okay? It, it it looks too much like Spiral Mountain for me to not call it Spiral Mountain. Which is not a bad thing, because Banjo-Kazooie Banjo is amazing. So is this game, so... Hey, doll. How are you? Yeah, good. And what about you? Let me guess. Rex was worried about me again? Yeah, that's right. Isn't he a sweetheart? Well, I better get home so he stops fretting. right -o, then. By the way... I found this on the way. Want it? Why do you have that? Like, why does she have a thunder egg? Whoa! How many boomerangs are those? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Come on, Ty, get up there. Get up there. And I missed. Just. <laughs> Come on, Ty. Oh, for. Ty, get up there. Come on. I think this is possible. Uh, it's not the intended way, but it's gonna be the way I do it. <laughs> and that's probably why it's not the intended way. <laughs> okay. That's what I get, honestly. I deserve that. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Barracudas. Those are also in the second game. I don't think these big guys hurt me. Bilby. Oh. Well, it's letting me lock on to them, so I guess they can hurt me. Whoa, whoa, eels.
Only three? Uh, I guess three in this area. Well, that's fine. Yeah, they're just dead now. Dude, I love what they did with the underwater environments. I've, I've always been a sucker for, like, underwater levels. Like, I know it's controversial for water and ice levels. Controversial to opinion, I think that water and ice levels are enjoyable. Like, it's just, like, you can't tell me it's not fun to look at these kinds of environments. You just can't. It's such, like, it's such fun, in my opinion. Especially with a game like this where you can, like, just explore... Like, it, it's a- it's definitely a go-at-your-own-pace type game. Even though this game has been at GDQ, I actually did look it up. There's actually a big speedrun community for this game, which I might have to get into. Because I love speedrunning uh, some games. Uh, I don't post them because, you know, I don't, I don't feel like speedrunning content would be, you know, for me. Because I like a little bit of variation with what I do. Not saying I couldn't, like, speedrun a game and then just do a regular playthrough of another. But I just feel like it would be way too much to, like, try and plan out at the moment. Uh, maybe in the future when I actually, like, get my stuff together and, like, you know, have money and stuff. That's quicksand. Quicksand. I for yeah. Good night. Oh, come on. I don't remember quicksand being in the second game, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, I looked on the, uh, I looked on, uh, speed runs and stuff. There's, like, pacifist runs, which, you know, obviously I feel like that's gonna exclude the, uh, the frills you have to kill. Like, these frills, like, your, your run would be automatic reset if you killed any of them, because if you're doing a pacifist run, obviously that means you don't kill any enemies. Can I, like, jump on these trees? I can! And, and not very long, though. Dude, my controller is on fire right now! Oh my goodness! Whenever you're in quicksand, it's like constantly vibrating.
Oh my goodness. Get your butt back up there. Um, so obviously there's a way to get on that lower platform. What does that do? Interesting. Um, let's see. How can I check my... Okay, I have 216. What the heck? Okay, interesting. So I have... I'm 11% complete with the game already. Huh. Well, whatever. There's 373 of them portraits? Good night. So it's just another collectible. Rainbow shells. Uh... Excuse me. Uh, whatever those hangman things are. <sighs> Total time spent playing so far is 49 in-game minutes. 12 out of 90 cogs. Quicksand, coconuts, shipwreck, nest egg. Can I, like, look at the other ones? Two up. Okay. Collect 300 opals. Find five bilbies. Time attack. So I've pretty much got this one done. Other than the portraits. And the one cog. But I always save that for our next episode because I'm getting tired. Thanks everybody who tuned in. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. As always, it's some Comic Cam. Bye!